Glenn Rice. Let's talk about the fantasy. Excuse me. You guys were called Glenn Rice. At the sounds good. bring back up. What? What? Did, how much did you get the chance to see, or what did, did you hear about it? Never, all those games. Oh. Uh, six games in ten days, just from a defensive standpoint. These last ten days, I feel like these guys are starting to ratchet up defensively. Yeah, you know, I mean, we got to continually be consistent at it, um, and uh, yeah, these uh, these last couple of games uh, in particular have, have been a uh, good mindset from a defensive standpoint and one that we got to continue to you know continue to build on uh, with that you know, when we're in tune uh, defensively it just it helps uh, helps so much more of everything uh, flow into our offense getting out in the break uh, those kind of things just uh, kind of coincide together so um, you know we got to continue to uh, continue to work at it and keep that as our mindset because these guys are a potential first round playoff uh, for you. So is that giving you something to think about? Something no, not, not, not in particular. Again, I, like we've been saying all the way, you know, coming down the stretch here, we just we, you know, I want us to, what do we have to do? Um, and, and it pertains to us and staying consistent in, in the things that we're doing. I haven't looked that far down down the road yet to, to say uh, uh, any, you know, look anything like that. I just want us to main, maintain our focus in terms of our play and, and what we need to do going into each particular game. It's a pretty physical game against this team. How, how is their well, this is yeah, this going to be a physical game. Uh, no question about it. It's a physical team. It's you know, a lot like the Indiana uh, game. Uh, the last night was a physical game. Gotta step up to that. Uh, really? Have that, have that understanding in your mind that um, you know that's that's how the game's going to be played. And um, you know, uh, I thought we handled that a good job. Of that. Not a lot of foul calls last night uh, uh, for either side. And, you know, we play. You know, you've got to play through those uh, in those type of games. I thought we did a good job. Of that. Really? I apologize for over there. Do you feel like this is a little bit of a different? Bulls team you're facing, given that the two times you saw them in rapid succession was shortly after the bank trade, they were still kind of adjusting to that, and now they're... Oh, I don't know. I, I'm not, you know, like I said, I worry about my team. I'm not, I'm not, you know, we, we understand what we have Hello. to do against Chicago Times team. play hard, you know. Um, they're, uh, you know, methodical in their pace of play. And, uh, you know, we just got to worry about playing, uh, you know, our style. They're playing good. Right now, that's you know, I haven't divulged into breaking their team down minus Dang um, since we haven't played them in so long. Um, but uh, you know, this is you know, they're a good team. Um, you know, you got a lot of veterans that's been through a lot of wars on that team. To understand where both the season they're in. We talked about the job at Lisa did on Bell last night. We didn't find out until we went to the locker room. You, know, you might have had a little bit of a flu, so knowing that now, what he was able to do. Last night, speak to Evan, the, the hood speakers, to do that. No, that was, you know, those are the type of things. Sometimes you have some of your best games when you're under the weather a little bit. Um, and you don't really know how you're going to feel until you get out there on the floor. And, you know, that's what Trevor did for us. And you have the time. Yeah. Anyone can't imagine Glenn being much in your rotation. It, it's just a matter of him having done all he could do. And yeah, it was time to get him back up here. He was down there for. Still games and getting back uh, back with the team. Bradley's been playing well. That's it. You know, it's just uh, he's he's stay, you know he's difference between making making some shots. He struggled a little bit with the shot, but uh, uh, he stayed aggressive in, in doing the things that uh, you know he needs to do. And, uh, even when you know he wasn't making shots, that was that was the most important thing to stay aggressive, and uh, uh, that's what he did. And now you know, you know things have you know, he's started falling for him a little bit more. You think being around the environment will be good for playing the way it is for Ottawa? Yeah, there. sure. Yeah, that's why we we brought him back. Thank you. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh,